Aries, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here to give you your reading. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts. Pick a note. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross watches. I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments. Okay, I love you too. Ooh, Aries, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. I thank you in advance for likes, shares, subscribes, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you, thank you, and thank you again. There's no gender here, only energy. But you're going to hear me use the terms he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifer. Take it how it resonates, my love. This is a general reading. The roles can also be reversed. If you found the message or the message found you, that means that there is something in here for you or a seed to be planted for tomorrow. Aries, um, actually, you guys are privy to uh, the Queen of the Moon oracles. It's my first time using these, actually, and I was surprised that I got a call for them because they weren't even open. I had to like pray them and oil them and sage them. <laughs> um, but here we are. Number 29, the wolf moon, hunger. Ooh, Aries, something wants you bad or you want something bad. Let me just say this. I came into your energy and saw a tower. My concern was that it was a white tower. I'm not going to lie. It wasn't, it was like, um, how can I say this? You know, the tower is like falling on traditional tarot, but the background, it was kind of like, not like this, but it was just all white, almost as if somebody was trying to draw a tower card with a black ink pen. So the tower form itself was black, but on a white background. And I was a little intrigued by that. You know what I mean? Especially because um, I know Libras are dealing with a tower. I'm a Libra sun, but I have an Aries moon. So my thing was, if this is a double tower for me, let me just get my knee pads and helmet out because that means I'm getting ready to hit rock mother loving bottom. You know what I mean? But Aries, it don't feel like that. I do feel like uh, this energy, first of all, um, calls for you to be mindful of what tactics you're using to obtain what you want. I do want to say that. Don't let your hunger overtake your principles, your morals, your values, um, and the proper order of operation. Um, yes, that's how I want to put that. Um, I think that behind this moon is a sun that you can't believe. I'm not going to lie. There's just a certain way to go about it. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, you have the snow moon, which speaks to purity, which speaks to honesty, which speaks to, um, the, the spoken word, uh, intentions, things like that. For instance, if you're hungry for something, you know, um, make sure your intentions are right when you're going after it. It's not for personal gain. You're coming in with all honesty and pure intentions, okay? I feel that, again, this is some of you, somebody wants you bad, period. They want you bad to a point that they're considering a compromise on how to get you or this is you, all right? Either way, the energy is extremely significant right now in your space, we're going to uh, put some tarot down with Vision Quest. Center energy, please, for Aries. Thank you so much. And we have an Ace of Earth reversed, which is okay. All right. Now, make no mistake. That means that the abundance, the tangible gift, the large ticket pur purchase, you know, whatever it is that the Ace of Earth is to you right now, there's a delay. There's a delay. That's all there is. Okay. It's still prominent in your energy. This gift, this token, 
um, this proof of love, whatever it is, but there is a delay, okay? Crown the energy, please, for Aries. Ace of Earth, reverse. Crown the energy, please, for Aries. Thank you so much. And we have Spiritual Warrior. I just want to make sure we're in the upright here because all my decks are upright if you're new to my channel. But I do read reversals if they come out, okay? A Spiritual Warrior reverse and a Medicine Man reverse. This is completely, complete blockage. Complete and utter intuitive blockage. Make no mistake about that. Um, the Spiritual Warrior is a chariot energy uh, movement, Cancerian energy. And uh, the medicine man speaks to, of course, the magician. And by them both coming up in the reverse, this is somebody, an energy of not having what you need to get what you want and it not being the right time to make a move, which complements the same oracle energy of this hunger. You have the hunger desire for this, but for whatever reason, how you're going about it is not the right way or it's not the right time. Okay, three of earth is at the bottom of the deck. You might have to consult someone for assistance, advice, uh, or, you know, some help. Let's just, you know, look to the hills from which come your help, you know, period. Okay, uh, what's undermining the process? What's undermining the process? What's in the way for Aries? Thank you so much. The six of air, clarity, see? Clarity, a clear mind, peace. You know, you're revved up, you're worked up, you're hungry. When you're hungry, people can't think right. I know I can't. Shoot. When you're hungry, you're like, I'm hungry. Period. What's the problem? But it's messing with your mind. You're not at peace. Okay? You're not at peace. You got to deal with this hunger so that you can move forward with the proper order of operation. That's so important. Taking the proper steps, having the proper intentions, speaking uh, your truth with a pure heart. Where's this coming from? What brought this on? Past energy, please. For Aries. I see it. Past energy, please. Okay, hold on. Let me get it. I just want to see if there's another one because it didn't pop. Pass energy, please, for Aries. That was it? Okay. Oh. Five of fire. Five of wands energy. Fire energy, Aries Leo Sag. Stress. This is not, I don't think, you fighting the world. I think, to be honest, this is you fighting every single part of you. All of you, what you feel are your faults or somebody else's, how you view somebody else's faults. Um, nothing was going right. Everything was falling apart. And you. it just seems like however you try to think this through, you couldn't find balance and peace in it. You understand? But you, I think, went through a tower. I ain't going to lie. You went through a tower. And it was a mother lover. But understand that the tower is divine intervention and we should appreciate it, even though we won't like starting over or starting from the bottom or even having the self-realization, you know, future energy. Where is this going for Aries, please? Future energy for Aries. Thank you so much. And we have the three of earth again. So this is the second time this is coming up for you. Uh, some of you might honestly be uh, moving towards some type of counseling. I have to mention that. Um, yeah. I want to mention also that. Uh, uh, what do you call it? The fertile bank. I don't know what you call that place. Some of you are going to look into that, like other means of procreating. Um, I want to say that I feel that you're moving into a space of really acknowledging the beauty of life by putting aside selfish ways or interests or thing way of going about things. I want to say that too, okay? 
either way, I feel that it's a positive move and a positive energy. And there's the clarity you were looking for. Ace of Air. The Six of Air, remember, is undermining your process, which speaks to, to clarity. But the Ace of Air being at the bottom of the deck is the clarity that you're seeking, the understanding and knowledge, the thought process of how to, when to, uh, where to, things like that, okay? You'll have full knowledge and understanding. This also will help you with what was at the bottom of the deck here, communicate from a pure heart or for somebody to do these things for you. Remember, all of this can be reversed, okay? Ooh, all right, Aries, if that's what you're doing, let's talk about it. I want to clarify with the light seers. I want to start with that ace of earth. I would have liked for that to be upright for you, but everything in divine timing, you know, obviously you have a large gift coming from the divine that you're obviously not ready for as of yet, or this is your person ready to make a presentation to you and things are not in alignment as of yet. Okay, not yet. The answer is no. It's just not right now. Okay. Um, Ace of Earth reverse center energy for Aries. Please clarify. Thank you. And we have the sun reverse. You see, there's something you're not seeing. The sun is illuminating energy. It's bright. It lightens dark places. But something is still in the dark. Something you're not clear about. Okay? Because you're hungry. You're not thinking clearly. Tell me more. Ace of Earth and the sun reverse. Eight of Pentacles could be work-related. You could have a lot on your plate. There's a lot on this table. You just might have too much going on right now. It's just not the right time. You know, again, I just said that divine timing, you know, is important. It just might not be, you just might be busy or this person might have a lot on their plate and they just don't want to lose you, but they still have a lot on their, their plate right now. So it's just not the right time. It's not, you know, it's not coming in cohesively. The energy isn't flowing, not as of yet. Okay. It's going to require some work. All right, let's start with the five of fire, five of wands energy. Thank you. And this is a two of cups reverse. That, so this is a breakup or some type of separation from something or someone that you had an emotional tie to. The two of cups energy is water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And it speaks to an emotional connection. Somebody sees that like you see. Somebody that knows like you know, wants what you want. Or if this was something or a job or a purchase or something like that, it was something that you felt was, was absolutely for you and meant for you. Okay, tell me more. Five of fire, two of cups reverse. Regardless, that connection did not take place. It faltered or withered in some way, shape, or form. Thank you so much. And it could have been with a Libra or a Taurus with this Empress energy. But if that's what the problem is, that's a big problem. I'm going to tell you why. The Empress embodies all four queens. That means that there is, you see this person as that this is the one, there is no one better. Or this is how this person sees you. There is no one better, period. You trump everyone in every way. Now, why I said that that's an issue or a problem is that if this person is an Empress and this Empress is coming up in the upright, that means that this person knows it. They know exactly who they are, what they're capable of, and what they bring to the table, and what they deserve. Okay? And that can be challenging. Uh, spiritual warrior and medicine man in the reverse crowning. Chariot, magician energy, crowning in the reverse for Aries. Please clarify. The lovers and two of wands. I stand by this. You know, the, the lovers energy, Gemini energy here, fire energy with the two of wands. Um, it's, it's as if you don't have 
you have a stall and you don't have what it takes to make the move towards this connection. But with the Two of Cups and Lovers being on the board here, this is a divine connection, Aries. Good, 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 good. Now, you can call it soulmate, soul tie, uh, twin flame. You know, they got 50, 11 million titles. But what I will say, it is, is a divine connection. It's a divine energetic connection. There is a gravitational force between you and this person whoever this is to you or whatever this is to you. But this feels like a person. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Uh, regardless though, regardless of the connection, this person knows who they are, where they stand and what they want. You have a lot going on in your life, around your life uh, that you have to deal with. And divine is intercepting um, so that maybe you need to clean your plate or... get some help. I ain't gonna lie. All right. Oof. Why is the six of air undermining the process? Tell me about the clarity. What is Aries not clear about? And it's the hermit, the lesson, the purpose, the wisdom. You're not getting what the, what's the point? What's the problem? Okay. So Aries, either you or your person is saying like, look, we know we belong together. That should be enough. Everything else, we'll work it out. I'm willing to put in the work. Why aren't you? That's where you at, Aries. Or that's where your person is, you know? And they've thought about this for some time. The hermit energy is um, solo energy. It's independent, you know, Virgo energy here. But somebody really went into their own personal space to think about, like... What's the problem? They don't see the problem. What's the problem? All right? To a point that divine is now really has already been involved with the tower that you had in the past. But divine gave you a tower and um, understanding on the and acknowledgement of the connection. That's what happened in the past. That's what's hovering you right now. It's almost as if you took that tower, but you only took a piece of the lesson from it or your person did. The tower was supposed to not only just expose the connection itself, but also expose the way you work or handle this empress energy. Okay? Or how this person is handling or acknowledging you. Because for whatever reason, like I said, the gift is on the table. The connection is divine. But the energy is stalled because the only half of the lesson was learned, which is probably why this three of earth is coming up in the future, giving you some type of assistance. Somebody is going to give you help or divine is going to give you help to help you get clear and understand there's your spirit guide, maybe an ancestor. Um, divine intervention. It could be an earth angel with this three of earth here. Definitely um, heavy emphasis on that with the earth angel, you know, but this is justice. This is justice. This is Libra's energy. Clarity. Empress energy is very clear. They know exactly what they want and who they are. All right. And with the son of air, that's, that's somebody peeking and Talking like, hey, what's up, Aries? What's up? And the Empress is sitting on the throne, like, or, or or you're sitting on the throne, somebody calling you, what's up? I'm doing things and living life and loving life. What do you think? What's up? You know what I'm saying? They've doing their thing. Let's talk about the three of earth. I want to know about this divine assistance. The three of earth. Is it counseling or an earth angel? Woo! I didn't see that coming. But it is what it is. That means that this is devil energy. Some of you have Capricorn in your chart. Some of you are connected to a Capricorn. However, if that's it, leave it at that. Take it as nothing else. For those of you that don't, Aries, if this, you see at the bottom of the card, this person in mental stress, that's because the enemy has you on a puppet. You see this puppet on the string. 
and you're going to get some type of assistance to help break this chain. Or somebody is dappling in some mojo. I have to say that. Somebody is going to be dappling in mojo to try to get what they want. Be careful. This is a highly intuitive energy and protect it from the divine. So be careful. Clarify the devil and the three of pentacles, the three of earth. Clarify the devil and the three of earth. God darn it, and there it go. I don't even want to touch it. I said it. I knew it. Ooh -wee. I was hoping it was in the present. It's coming in the future. Whew. This tower here, I'm telling you. It's almost as if this tower is going to be horrible and wonderful. I just don't know which is for who. I do want to say that, Aries, this is your reading. And the tower is clarifying the devil. Heavy mojo. Somebody is working on with that three of pentacles. They, I mean, they pulled out the cauldron and the candles. Okay. This is not a divine trio. This is the, 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 the sticky stuff at the bottom of the barrel. Clarify the devil, the tower, the three of earth. God, come on. And it's a knight of cups reverse. Somebody's going to turn down the offer of you or uh, them. Maybe, uh, yeah, that's what I want to say. It's an offer of love. You or them. They're turning it down because, to be honest, they think that you can do better or you think that they can come better. Because the energy is coming in as a knight, which doesn't equal the empress. If this was an emperor, I'd have something different to say. But a knight, that means that you're still not at a point where you're stable. A knight rides a horse because they got to keep it moving. You know, he got sneakers on because he on the run. You know, um, a king even is, is a little more stable. But an emperor would have been an equal match. Right now, this isn't an equal match. Divine is trying to show you about you so that you can become clear on not just everybody else's faults, but yours as well. Again, this can be vice versa. I know this is harsh, Aries, but I, I, I give you the truth, okay? That's why the hunger came out first, because you're hungry and you want what you want to a point that you're now trying to try tax it, tactics to get it. And some of you are dappling in things that you have no mother-loving business. Because I don't mess with this mojo. All right? Stay pure. Stay in the light. Stay pure with your heart. Stay pure with your intentions. Regardless of the outcome. Regardless of the outcome. The Queen of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. Um, For some of you, this is your karmic doing the mojo on you, blocking your blessing, and it's working. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna tell you the truth. Because they're playing on your hunger. And if nothing else, what you want is the coin. Remember, the Ace of Pentacles came out reverse. So they're playing on that. So you might have an attack on your finances right now. If you were wondering where it's coming from, it's coming from this heifer right here. All right? Aries Leo Sag, but that's because this energy is jealous of this energy because this is a confident energy. How can I not be the best? How can I not be the one? How can you not uh, choose me? But because this one doesn't see the value that you see in this energy. Okay. And again, this can be vice versa, guys. Take it how it resonates. All right. But this queen... With Leo energy under, is using everything in the arsenal with strength, all her strength, okay, to tear this thing down. Do you see her crying and screaming to tear you down or tear down this connection, all right, so that, that you can start with them, all right? 
and they're trying to stall you out so you would be come back to them. Stay true. Stay true. Stay true and honest with yourself, with what you want, with your communication to whoever. And only accept the truth from whoever. Call this heifer out for who she is. And claim your victory. After you put this work in with whoever this angelic assistance is to you. Three of Pentacles, again, remember the three of Earth came here. Same energy. These are people working together, teamwork, making the dream work. Somebody is going to help you with your communication or with your travel, with understanding how to control your passions and how to direct them per properly. This is the final call. Judgment is here because it's time. And this is a nasty situation. It's almost as like the Queen of Wands energy, the Empress energy, your energy, divine energy is like intertwining to a head. That's what that tower is. That's why the enemy is there, because it's about to free you. It's about to free this empress. And the queen, unfortunately, is going to get what they, they're going to reap what they sowed. If this plays out in divine timing, control your hunger, stay pure. That will allow you to manifest, because right now, your manifestations are blocked with the medicine man reverse. You understand what I'm saying? Take your time. Think things through. Knight of Pentacles, take your time. Stay true, but take your time. Justice is here. Balance is here. Libra again. Heavy Libra energy. But the choice is yours. And remember, one of God's first gifts to us is free will. The choice is yours. Whether or not you want this clarity... Ace of Swords, Ace of Swords, Ace of Air, rather. Clarity, remember, is undermining your process. You're thinking things through alone, and this is a time for you to really put yourself out there with your friends, with your family, with your ancestors, in your prayers. Be honest. Be honest in your prayers. I don't know what I'm doing. I, don't, I messed up or... I'm not sure about what I want. Be honest. Whatever the case is, I got a lot on my plate. Be honest. I feel like there's something going on. I don't know what it is. Talk about it. I'm hungry for something that I think that is bad for me. Talk about it. Be honest in your prayers. Put that work in. You've never been afraid to work before. Okay? Oh, all right, Aries. I hope this helps, guys. Thumbs up, please, and subscribe to support the channel. If any event that none of this resonated for you, that's okay. Go ahead and check your moon and rising, but don't take the energy with you. Leave it here for somebody else, okay? Remember, guys, we are all perfectly imperfect, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.